Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of the dog boarding and daycare business. Stay tuned. Take you through a day in the life of the daycare and dog boarding business. Couldn't have accomplished this without. What's going on, Zoro? Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. All right. Let's go, let's go. Let them get some good exercise. Let's go. Man, and they'll run and they will tire each other out. You know, we're in the month of December, you know, and uh, all praises to the Most High Yah business is coming steady. What y'all doing? You know, we let them out five to six times a day for about 30 to 45 minutes. You know, each time, as long as weather permits, long as it's not raining and muddy and stuff like that, and we we let them get after it, man. You know, these are the light weeks leading up to, you know, the holidays that a lot of people celebrate. You know, me, I don't keep the, uh, check the goats out over there. I don't keep the, man, let me clean this camera off. Hold on for a sec. Hold on for a sec. Let me let him go. Yeah, I don't keep the uh, the holidays, you know, I keep the feast days. So we're wide open for business with the exception of the Sabbath. Every Sabbath we close, you know, and we shut down for the feast days. But um, right here we have a, uh, like a shepherd husky mix. And then I don't know what this one is. This one came from the pound. The, uh, the little one right there came from the pound. Uh, owner got that from the pound and you know when you get a dog from the pound they really don't uh, have a true uh, lineage of what the breed is and um, he uh, Zorro doesn't really didn't really get along with a lot of dogs but Roxy's a wild one man I call her Foxy Brown come here come here ah, ah. yep and uh, they just go back and forth at it uh, Zorro the bigger one, he's only like eight months. Not old at all, you know, but we're getting ready to get into, that's how they play, man. High energy dogs, they play kind of rough. And as um, long as they're not yelping and things like that, man, we let them have at it. But uh, like I said, man, this is the dead season. We're getting ready to enter the, uh, the holiday time period where a lot of people are doing traveling and things like that. So if you are in Israel, and you have space, man, and you want the blueprint, the game plan on how to do this, man, knowledge is power, man. And the Most High Y'all wants us to share this information to be able to set our brothers and sisters free in righteousness. And uh, if you want the game plan, just hit me up, man. Hit me up in the comments or Justin Rock on Facebook. Justin Rock, that's J-U-S-T-I-N R-O-C-K and look for the logo with oil in the lamp. Cut it out. Come here, come here, come here. Yep, Roxy's a wild one, man. Foxy Brown. And they just do this all day long. Go over there and get some water. Crazy jokers. But yeah, nice view, man. But we're gonna be at max capacity, you know, probably around 18 to about five January, we'll be at max capacity. That's crazy, man, they're just peeing on each other. We'll be at max capacity. Come here. Yep, and uh, 
that's when we get most of our business, man. Most of our business. So let me get this joker some water. What's up, Roxy? Your mama on the way to pick you up soon. Let's get some water. These little water totes right here, man. You see these on Facebook Marketplace? You color them, you paint them black. That way the algae can't get in there. And then you got uh, you got water right here, an outside source of water. Put some water in there. Go to tractor supply, get you a little spout, put on there, you're good to go. You know, a while back, man, when we first opened, I made this little deck, man, out of some uh, some four by fours and some cheap uh, pressure treated lumber and uh, made this platform. And I'm probably gonna either continue the platform out here and uh, extend it out a little bit or concrete it in. You know what I'm saying? I gotta look at the cost of materials, but uh, the most high y'all will give me the plan when the time is right. Yeah, this weather out here in Oklahoma, you know, during the day, you know, it's pretty sunny, but that wind chill out here, cause there's no trees, there's none of that to block it. So that wind chill is real. Roxy, Roxy, come here, come here, come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sit, sit, what are you doing? Yep, he was supposed to get, uh, Zoro was supposed to get picked up Sunday yesterday but uh the owner had to extend because he can't have them in the hotel so we're like oh man that's too easy you know the national average for uh national average and range for boarding ranges from like 18 dollars a night all the way to 50 dollars a night you know where i'm at man you know when we first started out we were charging 28 dollars per night for a large dog you know, and then uh, right now we're just at a flat line, $25 per night due to inflation, stuff like that. Beginning of the year, we will make an increase and uh, we'll be good to go because we had steady business even when we was at $28 a night, had steady business. Like I said, man, if anybody uh, wants the information on how to do this, you got a piece of property, little piece of land, and this is a for where we're at in our city, this is the largest facility um, for dog boarding. You have a lot of vets, you a lot of veterinarians, a lot of small places within city limits and they just keep your dog uh, kenneled up, kenneled up. And uh, a lot of people aren't happy with those services. The people genuinely don't care for animals, don't pay them any attention, don't let them socialize. Um, you know, this right here is the dog pond that, uh, we had to halt the construction because the dogs just kept jumping in and out the water. It was hard to get anything done. So we'll revisit that. See they run and play, get water and get good and tired and go back at it. There you have it. But uh, if you want the blueprint, the game plan, I'm not a hoarder of information. Won't even, uh, won't even sell you anything, you know, just hit me up. Like I said, Justin Rock on Facebook, Oil in the Lamp like this video subscribe to the channel man and I'll, I'll walk you through the process of how you can start doing this um the insurance the legalities um you know forming your business uh you know tax preparation stuff like that i'll give you the game if you got some garage space you know you could actually turn your garage into one of these you know uh and get it started off like that and have some have some income generated because this daytime and hour with uh you know employment and wages not keeping up with inflation man you got to look at it man and it's always uh good to have something that you can rely on independent from what the system provides man you got a lot of people that have been with companies for 10 15 20 plus years and you're at the top of the pay chart but what happens when you got a whole bunch of people interviewing for jobs and they'll take the basic starting pay, you're at the top of the cap. What do you think these businesses are going to do? 
it's a smart business move to let you go. Train somebody else that will do the same amount of work, be hungry and eager for less pay. It's just the concept of business. So, you know, get with me if you want that, man. If you fear the most high, y'all, and you doggone keep the commandments, I will give you the game. Good? Y'all good? Man. But yeah, that's it, man. We got some, uh, we got some big dogs coming in store, you know, for this uh, upcoming month. I'm talking about dogs hunted, 50 pound plus. So I'll show you guys that, but just wanted to show you a day in the life. I'm about to go in here and uh, top this one off with food. One of them's daycare, other one's staying for boarding. So I'll show you what that looks like. And if you let them out frequently, you don't have to worry about uh, the mess as far as them using the bathroom and the kennels and just let them out frequently. Some places board your dog and the last time they let them out for the evening is uh, 5 p.m. And then they don't let them out till like nine the next day. And you will have a whole mess. All right. Get his food out. Good on water. You see right here, the owner provides the food. We got the food, I'm gonna hook him up with some food. He'll be good and I'll let him back out in about two hours. Get some of that food in there. Some of that food in there. Yep. There you go. He's growing, so put a good bit in there. Winter time. Run this heat right here. It's a big old, this thing will cool, uh, I want to say 1800. Put it down, put it on. Put it on 75. But yeah, got this at Lowe's, man. Everything in here except the concrete, uh, the doggone spray foam insulation and the metal building, as far as the fencing and all of that, all of this stuff, you know, did myself um, to save and cut down on expenses. The lighting, did that. We have outsourced, got quotes on electrical, got that done. And uh, I don't know if I've shown you guys in the last time, but. Upgraded, we got rid of those old kennels. I'll show you these old kennels that weren't hitting on anything. So we had these right here. Man, they weren't hitting on anything. Um, I would not recommend those for big dogs, so I got a whole surplus of those. I'll repurpose these later on, maybe build like a chicken run or something out of them. But we, uh, Upgraded to all Retriever Lodge kennels. And these, man, these are some awesome heavy duty kennels. We use the big zip ties for the dogs that are like 150 pound plus that will walk the kennel across the floor. Got these cinder blocks to help brace them in a little bit. And um, yeah, that's it, man. You know, I was talking to the wife. Talking to my wife. There's another one, man. You know, when it comes to raised beds, your big dogs and your young dogs will tear up your beds. So we're phasing out of providing um, these elevated beds because we bought we bought 30 of them to start off with and the dogs just completely ate them one by one. So you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. But there you have it. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. Let me get them in. Let's go, Roxy. Another day in the life of the daycare and dog boarding business. Wow.